So the uh, ankle attachment that we'll be using for this exercise, which is going to be hip distraction, um, is called uh, strap shaper. Um, and the significance of it, any uh, ankle uh, attachment or leg attachment would otherwise do, the significance is that it's going to have an attachment at the bottom of the heel or uh, really allowing for an axial pull to the limb. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to find yourself on a box with a cable um, or you could also do it lying down. I'm going to show the standing version just because I like it a little bit more uh, fit, uh, to be a little bit more uh, And then I'm also going to ensure that I have something to hold on to with both arms. Uh, the attachment is going to go as I showed on that bottom hook. You'll then uh, position yourself, or position your hip I should say, in an open back position. So what does that mean? It means you're going to first uh, bring your pelvis into a uh, level or uh, a posterior pelvic tilt level position, engage your glute, and then I'm going to maximally dorsiflex my left ankle. I'm going to make myself as tall as I possibly can, and I'm going to be slightly abducted with my foot or my leg off to the side. I will then add on the appropriate amount of tension, which is usually about 30% of body weight, uh, starting around 45 to 50 pounds depending on the individual, it usually goes quite well. And then you're gonna go and do a series of deep breathing. You're gonna take a deep breath in. As I inhale, I'm imagining I'm gonna uh, straighten my spine and make myself as long as I possibly can as I push my heel towards the floor. So there's this elongation that's occurring throughout the torso with a concentration at my hip, trying to dissociate the hip from the rest of the body. Uh, you will notice that not only will my left glute, but also my right glute will start to burn as I hold the position for up to 90 seconds. As I breathe, I elongate, exhale, I try to sustain that elongation before I take another breath. Uh, the 90 seconds would then be broken up by 30 second bouts of rest where I just come over to the side, take the tension off the cable, wait for 30 seconds and repeat. Again, the, the purpose here is to distract the hip joint and the hip capsule. Uh, what you couldn't maybe appreciate from that leverage point is that as I'm elongating, I'm also slightly uh, abducting my pelvis relative to my hip, such that I'm getting a not only elongated pull, but also a lateral dissociation, so it also gives me a groin stretch.